Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back into my channel. So in this lab, we're going to configure a blob storage. <clears throat> so first, <clears throat> sorry, first thing first, um, this is the Microsoft website where you would you know, kind of stop by and, and check out different things. Like if you look here, it says that introduction to Azure storage. So the benefits of storage, Azure storage data services, review options and stuff like that. So the Azure storage platform is Microsoft Cloud um, storage solution for modern um, data storage scenario. So Azure store, storage offers highly available um, massively scalable, durable, and secure storage for a variety of data objects in the cloud. So Azure storage data objects are accessible um, from anywhere in the world over HTTP or HTTPS via REST API. So Azure storage also offers client library for developer building application and services with .NET, Java, Python, JavaScripts. So you could um, make this lecture yourself. You know, just post this video um, to any point of time that you wanna look at this to have more knowledge in that. So it says here like benefits of, of Azure storage. So Azure storage services offers the following benefits for application developer and IT professionals. So it says like duration and high availability read that yourself, secure all, scalable, manage, and accessible. So now what we concern here today is, is, is the Azure storage data services. So the Azure storage platform includes the following data services. So it's Azure Blobs, a massive scalable object store for text and binary data also includes support for big data, analytics through data lake storage generation second. So we have Azure Blobs, we have Azure Files, we have Azure Elasticsend, we have Azure Q, and we have Azure um, Tables, we have Azure Manage Disk. So Azure File is like Manage Files, shares for cloud or on-premises deployments. So Azure Elastic Sand, which is a fully integrated solution that simplifies deployment, I mean deploying, scaling, managing, and con and configuring the send in Azure. So Azure Q, a messaging store for reliable messaging between application components. And um, Azure Tables is NoSQL, a NoSQL store for, sc for schemaless and um, storage for structured data. So Azure Data Disk, block level storage, volume for Azure VM. So um, just for the sake of not making this video too, too long, um, these are like different resources, different opportunities, like different things that you come here and get to learn. So Azure Blob Storage is a Microsoft object storage solution for the cloud. Blob Storage is optimized for storing massive amount of unstructured data, such as text or binary data. So blob storage is ideal for services images or documents directly to a browser storing files for distributed access, streaming videos and audio, storing data for backup and store and restore disaster recovery and archiving, storing data for analysis by non-premises or Azure host services. So let me go ahead and just Hold up, so objects, so object is, object in blob storage can be accessed from anywhere in the world. Yeah, we read that already. So let me go ahead and pull up um, Azure, um, the Azure um, portal. That's first and foremost, let's try to create um, the VM for the purpose of what we're doing here. We're just gonna make this faster. And then when we get to the, um, to the create the blob storage part, we would kind of 
see if we could be more explanatory. So let's call this up. Oh, sorry. So we're gonna call this RG resource group. I can call it RG1. Result found. Ah, I'm sorry, you gotta create one. That's what I meant. So RG1, right? Click that. Then I could call this AZVM1. I'm not gonna put it in South Africa. I live in the state, so I'm gonna call this East US. And um, availability option, I can leave that as default. Zone, I can leave that as default. I can leave the Ubuntu survey as default. I can leave this for the Medibet as default. And let me scroll down, I can leave all the other rest as default. So let me hit next disk. So I can leave all those as default as I was in the previous lab. Let's leave this as default too. Since, you know, for the sake of making this video not too, too long, I might just leave everything as default. So delete the public IP, yeah. Because um, I'm only making this for the, I mean, for the sake of this video, but I'm gonna delete everything afterwards. So just to making sure that, you know, you don't get charged from Azure. So if you wanna, you know, practice your skills, just remember to delete everything afterwards. So let's go ahead and just hit, um, just hit this, monitoring. I'm gonna leave this everything as default. Let me go there. Let's just leave these as default. So I might probably just change one thing here. So once I get to the to the tag, let me give it a name. And the name of it, um, AZ, AZ, VCM1, let's call that, okay. All right, so let's just create and review. Okay, now let's hit create. So this is a virtual machine that we just create. I'm sure to download this, but that's not really the purpose of this lab today. Now, this is just, the uh, you know, it says to generate new key pair, just, you know, if you wanna do SSH login into this. So now let's go back into Room. Let's go here. So in order for you to create a blob storage, you have to create a storage account. So let's go ahead and create a storage account. So there goes storage here. Let's click that. And we go there where it says create storage account. So we click here. Okay, so first thing first, the subscription it might be here by default. So we already have a subscription one. Now with this, let's see if we can find resource group. Let's put it in the resource group that we just created earlier. Um, I don't really need this right now, so let me just get X out of there. Now, if we want to call a storage name, let's call it here. Let's call it AZ, 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 STRBB, which stands for like Azure Storage Blob. I can leave it on here on, on, on East US 1. I can leave this as standard, like recommended for most scenario general purpose V2 account. So I'm not gonna get the premium account. I mean, this might cost a little bit latency and stuff that here. So for the redundancy purposes, I'm gonna put this on just the local, just to avoid, you know, LRS. Cause it says here like low cost option with basic protection against server rack and um, drive failure. And it says it recommended for non-critical scenario. So let's just click this. And um, how about we get Advanced. Now, you see here it says security configure, configure, um, configure security settings that impact your storage account. Um, so require secure um, transfer for SAPI operation enable. Um, allow enabling public key. So I don't really need that. Let's remove that. And um, tick, tick, tick. So enable storage on um, account key. I might leave that. And the version, I might leave this as default. Yeah, let's leave the, the default version. Now permitted scopes for copy, whatever. Um, let's just leave this as default too, guys. 
Um, let's just get to the said blob storage. Um, so to enable the STP hierarchy, enable the S the, the SFTP I hierarchical namespace must be enabled. Um I don't think I really need that. Um now to enable the S the MFS version three. Mm -hmm. So Azure file, you don't really need that. Let's go on network. So the network now says network connectivity. You can connect to your storage account either publicly, uh, public. I, I don't really need that. So let's say private and it says disable. See now it says disable public access and use private. I don't really need the public. Now, private endpoint we may it may require us to create, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so we already have a subscription name and we have the resource name. Now we can leave this on East US one. So this is where we located. Um, let's name this AZ. Let's name this AZ. AZ, let's call, call name, name, name this AZVM, right. And the storage sub source is blob. You can leave this as default. Mm -hmm. We already have a virtual network. It's picked that up automatically. So we have a default subnet mask. We don't really have to create any. any. If you stay later on, I mean, later, later on in this, <clears throat> in this um, channel, uh, we could go together and create some of the, I mean, some of these. Um, like more complicated one, but as for now, let's just go ahead and hit OK. OK. Let me get that. Let's go ahead and review everything before we even. OK, so we have the subscription, the resource code, the location is US one. I mean, is US. OK, bang, 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 bang. So, Let's just hit create. So it says deployment is in progress. All right, let's just give it some time. It says in progress. So now let's just hit the in the account that we created. Let's go here. Now that we already created an account, let's go ahead and create the blob storage. So let's just go on container. And um we're gonna hit container up here. Now we gotta give it a name. Um, a name can we give that? Um, let's give it a name. It's just a name. Let's just name it the same as the blob. Just name it the same as the blob. It was AZ. Was it AZ STR BB? Right? Yep. Oh. Now, because we have disabled public access, it has a, a private access. So you, you can see here it says that the public access level is set.
to private because public access is disabled. Yeah, so we know that. So if we hit advanced, let's just take a look at this and see what we got here. Let's see. Oh, encryption. We don't really have any. We could use an encryption code for all the blobs. Now, for this lab, we may not, we don't need one. Now, let's just, um, let's go ahead and hit create. So now, you could see it says successfully created the storage container. So, now, uh, um, now to access to see if the blob has been created. Let's just hit that. So let's see under the storage account. Just get back out. Now if you click on container, You can see here it says that the AZSTRBB blob has been created. Let's say if you were to hit that and open this. So it says this request is not authorized to perform this operation. But the blob storage is created, so that's what's matter. You can see where it says Microsoft AZ storage. I mean Microsoft Azure storage and blob blade. So thank you so very much. I appreciate you guys will follow along. Stay tuned. And that's the blob storage that we needed to create. And that's what we create here. So stay tuned for another lab configuration. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.